1948, the famous Doggy Diner opened in Oakland, California. By serving high-quality food, it quickly became a favorite. Everyone craved the tasty Doggy Diner hot dogs, hamburgers, pastrami sandwiches, and extra creamy milkshakes. Soon, there were 30 locations in the Bay Area to satisfy all the hungry folks. The most beloved feature of the Doggy Diner chain was its sign, a rotating, 10-foot tall, wide-eyed, grinning dog wearing a bow tie and a chef's hat. Every day, thousands of customers had a delicious meal, hung out with their friends, or just stopped by for a quick bite. The whimsical doggy head became a cherished icon and loved by everyone. People of all ages enjoyed their doggy diner experience. And here are a few of those good memories. My father used to work the night shift, so one summer night when I was about 12, he brought home hot dogs, fries, and Cokes from Doggy Diner at 2.30 in the morning. We rarely ate fast food in those days, so it was a big treat. There was a Doggy Diner on Telegraph Avenue in Oakland. It helped me navigate my way home, like a big doggy-shaped lighthouse. I loved the Doggy Diner. Could not live without it when I was pregnant. I used to dine at the dog a few times a week at 18th and Mission. My boss would spring for lunch. Usually we'd lock up the shop, wander down and pick up a couple of chili dogs and Cokes. Man, there was nothing better than a burger with pops to make a little girl feel special for a few minutes. The motto was, there is nothing finer than doggy food. And it was true. Their pastrami was excellent, their milkshakes and fries could be beat, and of course their dogs were legendary. I remember when I was 10 or 11, I got straight A's on my report card, and my mom gave me a dollar to go buy a dog and a coat from Doggy Diner. As a kid, the best words I could possibly hear were, we are going to Doggy Diner. I used to eat at the Doggy Diner whenever my mom couldn't take the begging from me and my brother. In the late 60s, I was a San Francisco Reserve Fireman. We would meet at the Doggy Diner after a major fire. If you ever needed a cop, reporter, paramedic, or a fireman, you just stop by the Doggy Diner. Every time I see that dog head, it sparks up nostalgia, taking me back to simpler times, times of youth and innocence. I absolutely loved going to the Doggy Diner, and of course was very taken by the big red dog's head. Doggy Diner was the place my dad and I sat eating our grilled hot dogs while we waited for my mom to get off work. Growing up in the sunset, Doggy Diner was the place to be. I remember the great food, great memories. Certainly a landmark. Sadly, in 1984, the Doggy Diner chain closed. But one doggy head in San Francisco stayed on his pole and proudly lived on. Year after year, Doggy Head continued to delight everyone who passed by. Unfortunately, Doggy Head no longer had a caretaker, so time and weather started to take its toll. Eventually, Doggy Head needed a lot of help, for he was gone forever. The love and support for Doggy Head poured in. Everyone wanted the dog he saved. Soon, Doggy Head was clean, repaired, and professionally painted. Now, Doggy Head looks better than ever. To protect Doggy Head for future generations, the city of San Francisco declared, Doggy Head is now a historical landmark, number 254. So come to Sloat Avenue, next to the zoo, and visit the Doggy, so he can smile. Now I'm here.